Genesis 41, starting in verse 50, says, Before the years of famine came, two sons were born to Joseph. Joseph named his firstborn Manasseh and said, It is because God has made me forget all my trouble in all my father's household. The second son he named Ephraim and said, It is because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. So we get to see the two things that Joseph is most focused upon. See, it is so difficult for us to forget. And for Joseph, even though he is a man of God, even though he is someone who knows that God may be silent right now, but that he is ever present, he knows that there are still struggles that he has had. And he may have gotten to the point of forgiving, but he hasn't forgotten about it. He's gotten to the point where he's like, I've put this behind me, I've put this in the back burner, I've shelved this and it's done. But at the same time, as we're gonna see here shortly, it isn't done. It isn't finished. There's so much more that's going to happen. And all this is taking place in the very land that he doesn't even want to be in, but that he is suffering. And many times what we have to realize is the suffering that we're going through is suffering that we have to go through so that we can help others. The suffering and the struggles we have are experiences that we can then take to other people for down the road to help them. And even though it may never make it actually okay, it gives them someone who cares enough about them, who loves them, and who is there for them and who is doing so because of what God has taught them. Now think about that for a little bit because sometimes we wanna say, well, God's making me do this and God has me do this and on and on and on and we have to step back and say, no, 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 God has allowed this, but it's up to us as to how we deal with the situation and then how we take that situation to then help others. It's a huge shift that we hopefully can take in our walk as a believer, but it's a shift that's very difficult to discuss and very difficult to actually live and work through until we can recognize God in it.